Hello everybody, how are we today? Um, I'm going to talk today about the experience we launched yesterday and I also want to preempt this and say if you want to donate money to help those people in the Ukraine, we are doing the Red Cross and on Linktree at the top of our Linktree. So if you click on link in bio stuff on my Instagram, you go to that, the first thing you can click on is donate to the Red Cross. So just to make it easy for you, if you're thinking of how to help, we're doing lots of different things in the office, um, but just um, making, you know, letting you know what we're doing. Um, so we've had from when we launched yesterday and um, we launched quite quietly for obvious reasons, but we've had a ton of people in the community asking tons of questions. So I thought I'd get on today. I got on Facebook this morning and I'll go through with you some really commonly asked questions. So it helps you um, to decide your skincare routine. So as you know, we launched skincare last month, started with our two cleansers, Be Your Best, a balm cleanser, and Better Off, our gel cleanser. And we've launched yesterday with three exfoliants. And exfoliants, to me, are a hugely important part of a routine. And I used to do exfoliation with granular exfoliation, which were things like, you know, apricot kernels and, um, you know, just granules that now are banned, actually, those ones that, that damage fish in the sea. And it was a kind of wash on, wash off, dealt with superficial dead skin cells. So liquid exfoliants are the thing that I transferred to quite a few years ago, still run for granular once a week, maybe, but liquid is just so clever at going in and taking off your dead skin cells and basically does many different things depending on the formulations. And lots of brands maybe do one, but I felt that we should be doing three because I think skin is different, behaves differently during different times of the month, and also it's different between people. So I wanted people to know which liquid exfoliant was theirs. So we have three, we have Tiptoe In, which is a very gentle form of liquid exfoliation. It's for people with sensitive skin or trying that for the first time. You might have used a toner, and you might think, I want to do a bit more for my skin than a toner. And that would be the step in which you would do this liquid exfoliant, the same step in which you might do a toner in your, in your old skincare routine. It's going to also give a bit of hydration skin. It has something called trailer hose in it, as well as PHA acids, which are going to exfoliate gently. So that's a really lovely introductory one. You want to upgrade your toner. You can start there with tiptoe in. And that's why we called it tiptoe in. It's a leave-on product, so you, you cleanse your skin and then you put it on. You can use it morning and night. Um, now, we then also have made Find Your Balance. And Find Your Balance is for people who maybe have bought our um, gel cleanser because they felt they have an oilier skin, maybe have a few breakouts. And what Find Your Balance does is it really helps to control the oil levels on your skin. And you started getting used to the concept of acids with the cleanser, but cleanser very much uses those acids in the process of cleaning your skin. So if you use better off gel cleanser, you're going to use those acids to slosh off the dead skin cells on the surface. But then when you finish cleansing, we want you now to put something on your skin that's going to go deeper and help more those congested areas or that excess oiliness. And there's fantastic ingredients in this, which are BHAs, salicylic and willow bark, and they will help to control the levels of oiliness and reduce them over time using um, our liquid exfoliants, you'll see a real improvement to your skin, but almost immediately you see these changes. You see this kind of glow. It's just phenomenal. Your skin feels smoother. And whenever you talk about my glow, that's probably because this stage in my routine is so key. So with Find Your Balance, you use it at night. Now, some of you might have used this category, a BHA exfoliant, morning and night, but we feel quite strongly at Trinity London, we don't need to over exfoliate your skin. So we like it to be kept to a nighttime routine and you would do it after you've cleansed and before maybe a retinol, if you use a retinol, or you could alternate it between the two, build up slowly. This is good if you also have occasional breakouts. You wouldn't use it every day, but maybe, you know, when you might be having that hormonal shift and you might be sort of knowing at certain times of the month you're gonna break out more, using this around those times stops the next day, that kind of breakout really coming out, it's incredibly helpful to sort of calm down and, and stop your skin misbehaving, I'd sort of say. Um, and over time, you'll see a real reduction in how bad that congestion gets because it will improve it. Um, it's a miracle worker. And then for those people who 
feel that they haven't necessarily got oiliness and congestion and their skin isn't sensitive, I would say they go straight on into Reveal Yourself. And Reveal Yourself is that utterly transformative exfoliant in your routine and you'd use it the same um, at night. You'd use it after you clean your skin. So my routine is that I will cleanse with um, Be Your Best and then I will follow through with Better Off, which has AHAs and PHAs in it, but at a much lower level, it's gonna work in that really cleaning my pour out. And then I put on Reveal Yourself and I just let it gently absorb in. And then I'll do my retinol. And I've done that routine because I've built it up. So if you're new to this, but you don't have a sense of skin, you can go on straight to Reveal Yourself and just start it every few nights, let your skin get used to it. And you're just going to see these changes in your skin. So, you know, you're going to see your skin will be deeply exfoliated. You're going to have a really fantastic skin glow. It will balance your hydration too, because lots and lots of women say to me, my skin's so dry, what moisturizer should I use? And I feel their skin. I'm really sad I just can't come down the phone and feel everyone's skin. But I feel their skin, I think, mm, you don't need to layer moisture over something where I can feel the dead skin cells on your skin. I want you to be sloshing off more putting on the liquid exfoliant, it sinks into your skin, it's a stay on product, and really working at that deeper level with those you know, stronger AHAs um, to uh, get off the dead skin cells. Um, and really just, you will have visibly smoother skin. And we've got bioactive planktons in there, which really help that. So, so I hope that's made it clearer for you how they work, because they are so exciting. And the texture is beautiful. There's no fragrance in them. They're sort of a little bit gloopy. You do not use a cotton wool pad. You don't need one. And you would just, I'm just, I've got a tiny bit on it, but I'm just showing you how I would do it. Um, I literally do that, put it over my skin like that. I put it onto my neck as well. You know how our neck can feel a little bit kind of older than our face sometimes? If you're of a certain age, you know what I mean by this. And I just feel I really put it on that secretly between you and I. I also put it on very dry areas of my body. It's a bit of a treat for me to do that, but I do like just here, the back of my arms. I do a bit above my knees. Anyone who can identify with that. And it's a miracle worker. But that's like, that's further down the road when you've got it already. But I just want to say that's what I do. Um, so I hope that gives you an idea. So I'm just going to now go and answer some questions. So how long... Um, Tina the wife, hello my dear. How long do you have to wait until, wait after using one of the exfoliators before you can apply moisturizer? I would say just let it soak in. So like 30 seconds, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna go in. You'll feel your skin is a bit damp and then very quickly you feel it's absorbed in, like mine's absorbed in now and that was what, 30 seconds probably. Put on your moisturizer. Um, I was given the ring for my birthday from a lovely lady called Jenny Halpern. Um, when am I coming to Canada? I wish I was coming soon. Does Reveal Yourself compare in its strength to P50? It does. P50 is a biologic recharge. Um, it has in it um, some similar, um, you know, lactic and malic acid. They maybe have mandelic as well, but we have lactic acid, mandelic acid, uh, cynic acid, um, amino acid complex, and, um, and betaine, as well as our um, bioactive plankton. Um, which is, biotic plant is very clever because actually what it does, it sort of finds the pigmentation and, and works on that too. This is very good if you've got pigmentation. So I would say the main difference is it's a lot cheaper. That's the main difference because we have put so many incredible ingredients in our formulation. Um, so that's what I'd say. Do any of these contain mandelic acid? I use 10% a few times a week and I see a huge difference. Um, yes, darling, the um, mande well, mandelic actually is in the Find Your Balance. Um, it's one of the AHAs in Find Your Balance because we love how it works with succinic acid and willow bark. So that combination, when you're treating a skin that's a little bit congested, you want that deeply exfoliating as well. So we have mandelic in there. Um, and you can smell in a way because we also have a little bit of the uh, apple cider vinegar in the BHA, the smell is slightly acidic, you know, um, but the smell of all of them is literally a natural ingredients coming through, which all just pleasant. I mean, I just feel they're doing, I'm going to do the tiptoe in now and you'll see tiptoe in how, hang on, where are It just, it just trickles down gently, but I rub that in. You can just see there, I rub that in like that. Already my 
rather crepey hand is feeling so much better. The trehalose is also giving that lovely level of, of moisturisation into the skin, but afterwards you obviously use a moisturiser, but it's just, you know, not stripping the skin. And it's going to give that lovely glow. So you're all, you're sort of almost immediately feel the benefit of that. I mean, look at my hand there and look at just having used that exfoliator um, on it. And you feel that trailer hose, which is that lovely, soft hydration. So, oh, I'm so excited by these formulations. I really am. Oh, um, which would be the best for dry skin 50s, please? If your skin is not sensitive, I would say reveal yourself. Because when we're in our 50s, what happens is we... You know, we sort of need that, we need our skin cells to turn over quickly. We need to slosh off the dead skin cells so the new ones can show. And we might be using retinols to get those new skin cells showing, but we need to get the dead ones off. And, and I feel that's what makes us feel, oh, we need moisturized because our skin feels dry. But that's when really feeling and understanding your skin, you realize actually, am I, do I have an AHA-based liquid exfoliant in my routine? Because if I don't, I really want you to say, let me try that first before I go and buy yet another moisturizer. It's a big difference. Um, um, how would you, how do you keep your feet looking so good? You're so sweet, my feet. Uh, can I tell you what I do? I'm so obsessed with crepey feet that I take some of the AHA, this one I do. I'm sorry, I'm gonna just, I literally wanna show you my feet now, but I sort of, I'm up on the table, I put a little bit of AHA where that skin gets very crepey on your forefoot, and then I put a, a facial oil on, on top of it. And that, it's really got my feet looking better. Um, that's so bizarre, I wonder if you're a foot fetishist. <laughs> Am I going to Harvey Nixon Manchester for their launch? Well, we are going to be um, going to, I'm sure many of you who live in Manchester might have seen this big, sign where Joe Malone used to be in Harvey Nichols and we are coming there. I'm not, I'm not saying when we're coming there, but of course I'm going to be there when we come there. Would I not? See all you lovely Mancunians? Um, Trini, your feet are the most beautiful feet I've ever seen. Oh, uh, that's, and it's somebody says, Ted. Ted, I think you like feet in a funny way, don't you, darling? Let's see. I'm sorry, I'm making that assumption there. Um, redness is often associated with sensitivity. We would recommend to Terry, yes. Um, any questions you would like? So where can I buy Miss Trini's products in Toronto? Miss Trini, I haven't been called Miss Trini since I was about five. That's very, very sweet. Um, you buy them online. And if you go online, we have a really good match to me for makeup. And if you're buying skincare, we very clearly say, what's your skin goal? What type of skin is this good for? And it's quite easy when you go on each category, and at the moment we have two, cleansing and exfoliation, that you can see which one's for you. Um, just bought your skincare products and they're truly the best products ever. Guy Lane, that's so nice to hear. It's just, I cannot tell you how much love has gone into uh, developing our products. And I'm so excited that we can spend this time talking about each category. You know, we spent three weeks talking about cleansing your skin. And now we're taking on the next stage for us, which is the exfoliation stage of your skin. And we want you to so understand that and to be using it and to be seeing individually the difference in what each of these things do. So you can see how your skin is changing before we introduce you to the next thing. Um, uh, I have some redness around my nose, will the exfoliant work? Wendy, if you have redness around your nose, it could just be that, it could be for a number of different reasons. Now, as you're not in front of me, it's difficult for me to know why, but if you don't have rosacea per se, if you have rosacea, I don't think you should use any acids during a flare up. When you're not having a flare up, you could use the PHA because it's very gentle and it helps to kind of strengthen the skin's microbiome and any kind of inflammation of the skin is, is really a breakdown of the microbiome being intact and working from, you know, crazy over exfoliation from granular going mad. So you want to just be delicate and you want to strengthen your skin. And I think the PHA can really strengthen skin. So if you've got a little redness around here, it might just be, you know, I have redness here, just little redness, random redness here. And I use the PHA in the morning and the HA at night. Um, but I think start softly. So if you haven't used an exfoliant before, a liquid exfoliant, leave on liquid exfoliant, then I would start with our PHA and you'll already notice that lovely difference in your skin. And then if you feel your skin is ready for something extra, you can then move after a month or so to using, introducing the AHA as well in the evening, every few days and building up gently. Everything please, build up gently, listen to your skin. Um, and your Poppy, other questions, darling? 
Yeah, someone's asked, would you use this instead of a serum or before your serum? I would use this before a serum, but some people have a very simple routine. So if I looked at the importance of what you should use and like the minimum things you should use, to me, cleaning your skin properly is, the, is very important at the first end and the, at the tail end is putting SPF on your skin every day is super important, like minimum 30, winter time too, 365 days a year, I wear SPF. Um, so I think those are your sort of top and tailors of a routine. Everything else is an add-in depending on what your skin is like. So if I would say what's next is important, I'd nearly say exfoliation, cell turnover, because if, if you looked at really old fashioned traditions, we had cleanse, um, you know, we had cleanse, toner, moisturize. That was like many years ago, but toners now have evolved into so many things. They've evolved into spritzes, into essences, into um, acid liquid exfoliants, because some of the very strong toners um, have it, some of the ingredients that liquid exfoliants have in today. So if you were a cleanse, tone, um, moisturize, I would say the modern equivalent to me would be cleanse, some kind of uh, liquid exfoliation and SPF. That's like the simplest form. Then the two next things I'd put in, during the day I'd put in a vitamin C and at night I'd put in a retinol, but that depends a little bit on your age, on what's going on with your skin um, and on, on what you feel you want to contribute in your, in your budget of what you feel you have for skincare and where you want to spend it. Um, so, you know, there's many different serums that are on the market. So you can have antioxidant serums, vitamin C serums, collagen serums, um, uh, blemish controlling serums, there's tons of them. So you might have found one you love and you use for a certain condition you have on your skin. And then this would come before your serum. Um, uh, Ivy, I know we're just on exfoliating, but I'm hoping a Trinlan moisturizer is next, still in a desperate need of a good one. Ivy, I'm gonna say what I said earlier, which is I'm so excited for people who think what they need is to find the moisturizer because none of them are working to realize maybe what they need is to have liquid exfoliation in their routine, to realize that then they need in a way a less heavy moisturizer because what they've been trying to moisturize is all those dead skin cells still on their skin, making their skin feel dry. And if they're off, weirdly, weirdly to me, your skin needs less heavy moisturizer, that sense of it. I, it's, it's so difficult until you try, you don't see it if you've never had it in your life before, but I think, when we look at some of the comments we have back from people using, um, we did these trials before we launched and they were unbelievable comments about the change they felt in their skin and their makeup went on so much better. They felt this glow in their skin they'd never had. They feel they look in the mirror and they don't look tired. All these things which I associate with lots of dead skin cells sitting on my skin. And so I just think it's, it's, you need to have tried it to realize how much that might be what you need. I can't tell you enough. Um, Penny, next one, yes. I'm in the 60s club, bought both your cleansers, love them, can't wait to try this one. Fantastic, Kaz Coat, if your skin is not sensitive, straight in to reveal yourself, darling. Um, people have noticed my radiance with the cleanser and the makeup, all I need now is help with trends. <laughs> oh, but you know what? You could amplify that even more with exfoliation after your cleansing. Um, would you exfoliate every day, sweet free bird? I think it depends on your skin. And I don't think people, some skins don't need to exfoliate every day because you can over exfoliate your skin and then you kind of, you know, then that's equally not good for your skin. So if your skin is very used to things, I do exfoliate every day, but in the morning I do PHA, in the evening I do an AHA. But then maybe sometimes for two or three days, I might just not do the AHA in the evening. If I just feel my skin is so exfoliated now, I can just do the PHA. So I kind of, it's like fine tuning. You'll listen, you know, once you start having this quite, um, quite focused skincare routine, you'll really sense, okay, now a little bit less this, a little bit more of this. It's like, we shouldn't do the same thing every single day, 365 days a year, because the weather changes, our skin changes, during the month, our skin changes. There are so many little fluctuations in our skin. We can't feed it the same food every day. That's what I feel. Um, so yeah, I hope I answered that question. Penny, uh, uh, a poppy. That's okay. <laughs> Sorry, darling, I just brought a so penny. Nice. Uh, poppy, and more questions, darling, yeah. Um, someone's asked, um, how come we need to leave it on and we don't need to wash it off? 
because um, if you if you understand and maybe you've tried better off. So better off is our um, HA PHA gel cleanser. So how that works is I put that on, and I've got different ingredients. I've got the amino acids, and I got the collagen, which is going to take off my oily skin. And then I got the HA and the uh, PHAs that are going to really exfoliate my skin there and then. Take it off. Um, now, if I follow with, for example, the BHA, which is this, the slightly congested skin, or the AHA with some pH, you know, the, uh, um, I'll find your, um, reveal yourself, it's working on a far deeper level. And it's now been, you know, working on skin that's so beautifully cleaned and it's cleaned in this, in, in, in the glue in between uh, is getting cleaned and um, it's going to be able to go in further. And the AHA, especially a small molecule sizes, they'll go in deeper and they do a lot of work to really reinforce whether it's deep exfoliating, clarifying your skin, replenishing moisture like the PHA, um, getting a skin glow, working on pigmentation to an extent, you know, it's staying there and it's continuing to work. And that's the big difference. And the, the analogy that Claire, our Chief Innovation Officer, gave this morning, which I really love, is imagine every day, and you, everyone opens their emails differently, all right, but imagine, so let's say you open your emails and you, you get rid of the quick ones first, all right? But there might be a few hundred or thousand left, you know, the ones that you hardly get to, but you always feel the weight and burden of them when you're thinking, oh my God, my inbox is so full. So imagine cleansing is those ones you answer straight away, but deeply exfoliating your skin is getting through all the others. That's kind of, it's a weird one because emails have nothing to do with skin texture, but it's the layers, the layers and the weight of that experience. And that's emotively what I see from those two comparisons. So for me, I like to clean my skin thoroughly because I need to have skin really beautifully clean for whatever I'm putting on it. And when a, my liquid exfoliant is one I put on it next, it goes in, it does the work, it reinforces the glow, it just works so well on my skin to just have it at that optimum, glowy, healthy, nothing between, you know, no, dry, no dry, flaky dead skin cells there, um, pigmentation evening out, congestion reducing. You know, they're, they're miracle workers. They really are. Our exfoliants are miracle workers. Um, yeah. Uh, Poppy, two more questions and then I'm off because we've all got lots to do. Yeah. Yes, um, in terms of different skin types, is there one you'd specifically suggest for sensitive skin, teenage Yeah, skin? if I had to be really like, I'm going to give you a little basic list. You've got oily skin, then use Find Your Balance. All right, if you have oily skin, which can be congested, it's brilliant and you can build up gently, use it in the evening. If you've got dry skin and it's not sensitive, use Reveal Yourself. If you have dry skin and it's sensitive, use tiptoe in. If your skin is dehydrated, that means you've got dryness through not drinking enough water. Um, depending on your age and sensitivity, I would use again um, tiptoe in if your skin is sensitive and feels delicate or reveal yourself, which is our AHA. If you have rosacea, I would say you should speak to your um, dermatologist first and only ever consider PHAs and only ever consider them when you're not having a flare up. Because I think with rosacea, it is an inflammation of the skin and you want to be putting in really good ingredients um, that will help. And we have glycine bonded azelaic acid, azelaic acid, I always pronounce it incorrectly, in our PHA, which is a, something that a dermatologist usually prescribes if you have, um, it's one of the treatments you can do as well as antibiotics and different things for rosacea. So, there is a really nice formulation within our PHA that helps reduce inflammation. But when you have a flare up, you should be so careful with rosacea. So that's what I would suggest. If you're menopausal, um, and menopausal can, can present in different ways. Some, for me, menopausal was shriveled up prune. So for me, reveal yourself is the one to go for. But if menopausal for you presents as perimenopausal, menopausal skin presents as suddenly, I've got spots on my face and I never have them and my skin's weirdly got oilier and it's misbehaving, BHA, find your balance. Um, if you've got fine lines and nothing else wrong with your skin, I'd go for reveal yourself. And if you have sensitive skin, I would go for our tiptoeing. So really clean and simple. And I hope that's helped. And I know we had so many comments um, and, um, and I'm so excited that you're loving it. And I, I, and I really like the way that we're 
gently getting into a routine, you know, not overwhelming, understanding um, better a category. So anything that you feel I haven't explained to you, so you're still thinking, I'm not sure and I don't understand, please leave in your comments below because we are here to demystify skincare for you. Um, and it was lovely to hang with you. And I'm just going to repeat now what I'd said at the beginning, totally uh, different subject, but um, I put a link uh, to donate to the Red Cross in my, in my, if you tap the link in my bio, and it's the top of the LinkedIn tree. So if you feel um, you don't know who to donate to for the Ukrainian uh, people, we've looked at so many different charities and things, and um, we had so much fantastic feedback from our community. And we've listed in a previous few posts, like when I'm wearing um, the yellow and uh, blue, and we've listed lots of really good charities that um, you can give to. And because our audience is worldwide, I just thought the Red Cross is great. And, and um, I know where it's going and what they're doing with that money. But you live in different countries and you're going to have your own as well. But if you were just wanting inspiration, then that's it. And I'm working on a little idea myself to do some extra fundraising um, that I'm going to be doing, which I'll share with you when we've got it sorted. But it's probably going to be about renting myself out and to the highest bidder to raise some more money. Um, so um, please get involved with that when we share it with you. And sending you all my love. And um, have a safe, good day.